Thousands of local elementary school students are going back to class on Monday. Yeah, pre-K through third grade. First group, they'll be in class two days a week and learn from home the other three. Then March 15th, all CCSD employees expected back in the building. Grades 6, 9, and 12 can return to in-person learning under this hybrid model starting March 22nd. Grades 7, 8, 10, and 11 return April 6th. That'll be after spring break. Also April 6th, pre-K through grade 5 return to five days a week in person learning. But Alex, even as CCSD gets its, its children back in class, many parents and students say it is not happening fast enough. Yeah, a lot of them are fed up. They protested before last night's school board meeting. It was the first one in person in nearly a year now. Hector Mejia live this morning for us with those details. Hi, Hector. Hey there, good morning and a lot of emotions from both parents and students saying they feel like the school district has taken way too long to come up with a reopening plan. Well, we did hear from both sides of the issue last night, but speakers overwhelmingly talked about reopening all campuses. The closure weighing heavy on high school seniors in their last year who say they were looking forward to student rituals such as graduation, prom and sports. Before CCSD trustees met last night, hundreds showed showed up outside to protest. It was the school board's first in-person meeting in almost a year. We talked with a couple of students who want the district to restore in-person learning soon and full time. It's been very hard for us, especially people that are graduating from high school and not getting the opportunities that they need to be able to progress to college, such as like scholarships. I had a lot of goals and ambitions for my senior year. I had a lot and all of those just like went to waste. So pre-K through fifth grade students, as we've been telling you, have the option to start hybrid learning on Monday. Then CCSD middle and high school students are scheduled to switch to hybrid learning in late March and early April. And as far as uh, prom and graduation go for this year, the superintendent said they are considering ways to safely have those events, hopefully this year. Reporting live this morning, Hector Mejia, 8 News Now.